Hey, what's up? It's Ashley and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about super spicy romance series that you can read right now. Get your cold drink or a fan out because these books are hot. Oh my god. I know. Ooh. I know. Up first, I have a contemporary mafia romance series that is not only filled with sex and murder, but it also has all of your favorite tropes, including Captor Captive, A Found Family, and my personal favorite, Enemies to Lovers. This mafia romance series is called Born in Blood, The Mafia Chronicles, and it is by none other than the queen of mafia romance herself, Cora Riley. If you're looking for a spicy, easy read where you can just go through one book after another very quickly, not too much uh, thinking involved, just pure entertainment, so-called literature. Then this is the series for you. The first book is one of my favorites. It follows a young lady named Aria who is betrothed to the head of a rival mafia family in order to broker peace between the two families. Aria must leave behind her family and everything she's known and move to New York City where she lives with Luca. No, she won't. Uh, clap. No, she won't. Uh. Her husband, who is also the head of this New York Mafia family. This is a completely different world for her. It is also uh, a situation where she's very naive. She has had no sexual uh, experiences prior to marriage. And initially, Luca feels quite rejected by Aria. He's not going to force her into anything. But over time, the two form a very close bond. There is a steamy hot tub scene, there is a scene in a club, there's numerous bedroom scenes, and the chemistry between Luca and Aria is completely undeniable. You can watch how they go from kind of not really knowing each other to basically being able to sacrifice themselves for the safety of one another um, over the course of the book. Skipping over the second book, which was just kind of an okay one for me, and moving on to the third book, which was my absolute favorite. This is the story of Gianna, who is Aria's younger sister. She is the middle daughter. She completely rejects the life that she's been born into. She doesn't want any part of this mafia life. She doesn't want to be married off for some kind of political purpose. So she runs away to Europe and there she has some adventures of her own. Now Matteo, if you remember Luca from that I mentioned in the first book, Matteo is his younger brother. Matteo is head over heels in love with Gianna. He wants to uh, marry her no matter what. So he and some soldiers go over to Europe where they find Gianna and bring her back. Uh, Matteo convinces Gianna's father to let him marry her and they get married and it is very capture captive. She at one point has like a, one of those like prison bracelets around like ankle or an anklet I guess you could say so that they can track her and make sure she's not leaving. The romance between Matteo and Gianna it is very enemies to lovers hate to love. I really liked how their dynamic unfolded and how their relationship grew across the story. Another really great book is Bound by Vengeance, which is, I think, book six. And this is the story of Growl, who is an enforcer. And he's essentially given this woman, Kara, who is being given to him specifically to punish Kara's father because Growl has a terrible reputation. He's known for being incredibly brutal and violent. He was the best guy around. What about the people he murdered? What so murder? And he's never had love in his life. He was had parents who didn't really want him. They were unmarried. He's called the bastard behind his back. And Kara basically has to come and live with him. And it's the whole story of how they actually find that Growl has this whole tender, sensual, loving side. And their romance is both sweet and spicy. For the second series that I want to talk to you about, it's actually also by the same author, Cora Riley, and it's a spin-off of the first series. And this one is called The Camorra Chronicles, which follows the Las Vegas mafia known as the Camorra. And in particular, I want to talk to you about two of the books from this series. One, which follows the capo or the leader of the Camorra, and that is uh, Remo. And Remo wants to get vengeance on this rival mafia family. So he actually kidnaps a character called Serafina when she's on her 
way to the church. She's wearing her wedding dress. She's about to get married. He kidnaps her and he takes her captive. Again, if you like the captor captive trope, this one is just mm, chef's kiss. Uh, so it's also enemies to lovers because they're from rival mafia families. And initially, uh, Remo's whole point is just to, his goal is to get revenge on this rival family. But what ends up happening is there's a very spicy and close bond that forms between Serafina and Remo. But what is going to happen when he has to negotiate and eventually give Serafina back? The story is uh, definitely an interesting one and one that I really enjoyed reading. Another story that I really liked in the uh, Kimura Chronicles is actually book one and this follows a character called Fabiano and Fabiano is the enforcer. He's just kind of been promoted to the enforcer role within the Kimura. <laughs> He meets Leona, a character who's walking on the street. She's poor because she comes from um, parents who don't really care very much about her. They have a lot of challenges. Her mother was addicted to drugs. Her father kind of hasn't been in her life. And so she's coming to live with him and she's walking on the street. She has next to nothing. And he picks her up, he gives her food, he helps her get a job, and he's incredibly protective over her. And it is a bit of a uh, rags to riches, him protecting her and sweeping her off her feet. And it's just a very sweet yet super spicy story. One point in the book where uh, Fabiano is supposed to punish her father and he chooses not to uh, basically force himself on Leona, even though he could because when he is with her, he wants it to be by her choice. If you could take a moment before I talk about the next series of books to hit the subscribe button, I would deeply, truly appreciate it. It's my goal to get to 1000 subscribers and I have a lot of content like this video coming your way. So please hit that subscribe button. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button as well. Next, I wanna to talk to you about the Fallen Men series or the Fallen MC series, which is by Gianna Darling. This is actually by a Canadian author, so shout out to uh, the Canadian authors because I don't know I'm Canadian and I feel like pointing that out. To me, don't confuse me with an American. I say sorry without hesitation. Watch hockey at any occasion. Routine's amazing, I'm Canadian. And this is a story about a motorcycle club and each book follows a different member of the club and their romance uh, with whomever they uh, end up falling for in the long term. And the book that I wanted to highlight was called Dead Man Walking. And Dead Man Walking follows the story of Priest, who is the enforcer for the Fallen MC. And he is Irish. He's like blonde, bearded, very tough very cold and heartless, tortures people, kills people, and he falls in love with the polar opposite of him. She wears bows and, you know, pink and is very sunshine and cheery and sweet. And she is uh, doing a murder mystery podcast at this school. And also in the background of this whole story and what makes it kind of a more page turning, uh, more interesting read is that there is a serial killer who is targeting young women. Let's just say if you like spice, in particular knife play, then this is the book for you. Next, I wanna to talk to you about the Dark Olympus series by Katie Robert. Now she is the queen of sort of retellings. In particular, she has the Disney villains retelling series. Uh, this series I want to highlight is actually a bunch of uh, Greek myth retellings and my favorite is the Hades and Persephone retelling which is called Neon Gods. In this story uh, we have Persephone and she is the daughter of Demeter. Now unlike the actual myths this is told in a modern day setting and the god title are more like titles or positions. So you could hold the position of Zeus and you're the ruler. You could hold the position of Demeter and you're in charge of the city's food supply. And uh, basically Demeter wants to marry her daughter Persephone to Zeus and Persephone doesn't want that. So she runs away across the river Styx where she meets Hades. And it has, the story has all the same elements of the Hades and Persephone myth, but with the modern twist. So. The uh, dog that has multiple heads is actually a series of puppies, Cerberus, 
and uh, Hades, uh, he's kind of a bad boy. He likes to have sex in front of an audience. So if that is your thing, then this book is definitely one to pick up. Another great book in this series is Electric Idol, which has plus size rep if you are interested in that. And this is the story of Eros and Psyche. Now Psyche is basically, uh, knows that Aphrodite is going to want revenge on her. And that revenge comes in the form of having her son Eros uh, basically go after her to kill her. If you like the trope of, oh, I'm supposed to kill you, but oops, I fell in love, then you will really like this book. Uh, Eros is so surprised by how kind uh, Psyche is. Uh, he does the unthinkable and he actually marries her and the story goes from there. It is, um, again, really spicy. All of Katie Roberts' series are very, very spicy book. So this book is very kinky. There is a lot of sex and I think even a visit uh, to a kink club, if that's something you're looking to read more about. Again, plus size rep, highly recommend. That is the Dark Olympus series by Katie Robert. Another steamy book series I want to tell you about is Zodiac Academy. Now, this is actually uh, one of my favorite fantasy romance series. It has a lot of different fantasy elements in it, and the plot actually gets quite complex. To start off, we have Darcy and Tori. They are twins who are living with a foster family, and they dream of breaking free and going, in, going off on their own. They are visited by a professor who tells them that they are actually the long-lost uh, heirs to the throne in this magical world. They go through a portal and they are thrust into Zodiac Academy, a place where they are supposed to train to become uh, wielders of special types of magic and powers and go on to potentially take the leadership of this whole other magical realm. Like I said, there's every trope you could imagine. Initially, it starts off as a bully romance because there's a group of males who are the sons of the current leadership and they thought that they were going to take over. Um, there is a lot of different magical creatures and there is a lot of sex and steam and spice. Finally, I want to recommend to you the books of Jennifer L. Armentrout. She in particular has a series called From Blood and Ash. The first two or three books, I'd say at least read the first two, and those are From Blood and Ash and A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. And these follow Poppy, who is the maiden. Uh, we don't know what that means and neither does she. She just knows she's been kept in isolation and solitude and is being uh, trained for a specific purpose, but the details of that purpose have not been made known to her. She uh, gets enmeshed with a character called Hawk and Hawk is supposed to be one of her guards. And what she finds out is the things that she was told all her life are not true or real at all. There's a lot of paranormal elements in this book. It is a bit long and you do have to kind of get through that first part before Poppy and Hawk's relationship really starts to bloom, but definitely worth your time if you're interested in a really good spicy fantasy romance. So question for you, could you please write in the comments which of the series that I've talked about do you wanna read and why? Or tell me what is your favorite spicy romance series? I'd love to know, are you more of a fan of contemporary romance with spice or more of a fan of fantasy romance with spice? Thank you so very much for watching and spending some time with me and listening to me talk about my favorite series with spice. I hope you have an excellent day. Please check out my channel for more videos like this one. This is Ashley saying goodbye.